in the new musical comedy, A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, a distant heir climbs, or rather kills, his way to the top. We are here at the Walter Kerr Theater on opening night to get the scoop on this drop-dead delightful new show. Tell me why you're excited tonight. I am excited to see Jefferson Mays play 7,000 people. Um, I am excited to learn what the gentleman's guide to love and murder is because I only know the ladies' guide. I wonder if they're different. I'm going to compare notes. We're, we're here to see uh, a magnificent show that's, uh, that's guaranteed to be um, a bit of a laugh riot. Everybody I've talked to, my friends have seen it, just loved it. So that's what gets me to the theater, good word of mouth. It's funny, it's wonderful, charming, has all that value to it. I am excited to see something smart and different and not the same old formulaic crap. What a wonderful way to go to an opening and have a brand new show that's not based on a movie. You know, it's just a brand new original work and that's really exciting. It's got one of the most exciting actors on the planet in it and also he's playing multiple roles and that's always been a fascination. I've only heard good things about this show and, uh, and you know, it's based um, on the, the same uh, book that the, the film of Kind Hearts and Coronets is based on, so that's um, the good source material. This is A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, but if you could have A Gentleman's Guide to something else, what would you want it to be? Just the love part. Just the Gentleman's Guide to Love for me would be helpful because I'm struggling. Gentleman's Guide For auditioning. A Gentleman's Guide to like happiness and, and like everything being cool. Gentleman's Guide to walking a lady down the street in New York City. Hygiene and cuisine. <laughs> opening is finally here. How does it feel to just have your Broadway opening? Oh, it just feels like I've stepped off of a cliff and uh, I have no idea what its critical reception will be but uh, it feels glorious and liberating and wonderful to be to be open at last. Yeah. This is a property that I've dreamed of adapting since I was 18 years old and I'm not kidding. It's been a long complicated road but we're so happy to be here and, and proud. There's nothing like the excitement of live theater to see the audience get so revved up at every performance and and so excited. I just, I can't tell you how satisfying that is. Every night is an opportunity to feel washes of laughter from the audience and it's, it's an amazing feeling. I say it has the three H's, hilarity, homicide, and really big hats. At one point we called it Downton Abbey meets Monty Python. Tell me about singing, because this is a new experience for you to do on Broadway. Yes. Um, well, as I said, nobody's complained yet. Um, and uh, I'm not a trained singer, which is very obvious, I'm sure, but uh, I can sort of act my way through a song. How does it feel to kill Jefferson Mays over and over every night? Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> Jefferson Mays um, was one of the actors I looked up to when I first came into the business. And if you had asked me when I graduated school, who do you want to emulate your career, your acting style off of, I would have probably said Jefferson Mays. Jefferson is, uh, for, to, to be first in line, is, um, is a gentleman par excellence. Jefferson Mays was either born to play this part, or we were born to write it for him, but one or the other, this was a match made in musical comedy heaven. Wait, that's a quote. It's so funny that this show about murder, basically a serial murder, is yes. so funny. I know. I was thinking about that as I was watching it today. And Bryce is so charming as the serial murderer. Bryce is, is just gorgeous, and I've loved working with him and sort of um, discovering these roles again and the relationship that I think we've built on stage is really wonderful and um, he's a very generous performer. I sort of view my role as like the pitcher at the Home Run Derby. I have a really important role which is to toss these juicy looking fastballs right down the middle of the plate for him to just belt out of the park. If you had to briefly describe this wonderful cast, how would you do it? Top drawer every one of them. We had fantastic people all along, but there's something when you get to those Broadway veterans. This sh show, I think, on one level, is a, is a beautiful love letter to the musical theater tradition on both sides of the pond. And I think it's also wickedly subversive, a, a wickedly subversive tale of an underdog, I think, which just has you know, pretty much universal appeal.